you can't teach an old dog new tricks. That's how the saying goes. And uh, probably you saw all these videos with, you know, super successful developers that got laid off a year ago and they can't find a job, right? And uh, you might feel discouraged. You might feel like coding is not the right career for you. And in this video, I want to tell you that you can actually make it in coding. But you have to follow the advice that I'm going to share with you in this video because it's very, very important, okay? So, first of all, I'm not going to deny that what happened to those people. I'm not going to deny that the layoffs happened, okay? So, obviously, a lot of people have been impacted. A bunch of families have been impacted by the layoffs. So, I'm not denying the fact that the layoffs happened. And I'm not going to deny the fact that we are going through a tough market right now. So, don't take it in that way. But what I'm gonna try to explore with you in this video is how you know you the junior developer is pedestalizing the senior developer that has 10 or 15 years of experience you look at someone that has a lot of experience right a lot of years on their resume and you think that they are you know God's gift to the world okay that's pretty much what you think and uh, it's only normal to believe that right because that's how we are wired as humans to look up to, you know, uh, authority figures. And someone who has like 10 or 15 years of experience is obviously an authority figure. And obviously, if someone that has 10 or 15 years of experience cannot find a job, that means it's going to be impossible for you, right? That's kind of how you think, right? But let's actually think about it in a different way. Um, one of the, the greatest uh, sayings uh, was this, uh, you have to be like water. Right. If you have water and you put it in a in a cup, the water is going to take the shape of the cup. If you take the water and you put it in a plastic bottle, the water is going to take the shape of the plastic bottle. Unfortunately, when someone gets very old, uh, and I'm not talking about age necessarily, but when someone gets very old uh, into a profession, into a career, they tend to become less malleable, less flexible. Okay, and probably you notice this as well, right? Let's say you are 30 years old and you've been a restaurant manager for the past 10 years. Like, let's be honest, you're having a very tough time learning how to code, okay? Because you have been molded, right? Actually, you haven't been molded. You have molded yourself into becoming this very rigid and plastic person, okay? Because for the past 10 years, if you've been a restaurant manager, you haven't tried to learn anything. You haven't tried to get out of your comfort zone. Sure, you don't like your career. You don't like your job. You don't. You probably hate every single day of your life. You don't like the salary that you're making. You don't like the fact that you are not able to travel whenever you want, wherever you want. You have no opportunities in life. You, you dislike those things, but you're still comfortable. You're in your comfort zone, even though it's painful, right? And this is what happens with people that, you know, have been software developers for the past 10, 15 years, right? Uh, probably they haven't learned how to create a resume that is actually competitive in this day and age, right? They haven't spent money on a course that teaches them how to write a better resume. They haven't invested into a person that can write uh, a resume for them. And by the way, I'm not selling my services here because I do not have those services. I do not sell those services. But I'm just giving some examples um, regarding things that people can do um, because it's my personal belief that you are never stuck. You, the person who's watching this video, you are never stuck, okay? I want you to really understand this. As long as your heart beats and as long as you are breathing, you are never stuck. You can always figure out a solution. Of course, things are, sometimes things are not easy. And right now we are living in a moment when things are not easy. But what I'm trying to get to your attention is that these people, I can 100% uh, 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 like I, I can I bet my my family on this that they haven't tried anything. They only tried what used to work. Okay, these people that you see complaining all the time, they they are not trying new things. They are just trying the easy stuff. How do I know? It's because that's how it used to be. How do I know that? Because I used to be a complainer. You see, I know that winners never complain. 
they just take it on the chin and they move on. And I used to not be a winner. I used to be a loser. And I loved losing so much. And unfortunately, most people, I don't want to call them losers, but most people are losing. And they like losing. They like being a victim. They enjoy that. They prosper in that. And if you post about that online and you get clicks and views and comments, that's very addictive. And then you start talking more and more and more and more about that. And then you gather an audience of people who love losing as well. There is this thing called uh, negativity bias. And by the way, maybe I can talk about this in another video. But us humans, we have a lot of biases that are allowing us to, you know, determine what we want to do in life, okay? And one of these biases is called the negativity bias. And the negativity bias states that humans, like me and you, are more attracted to negativity than to positivity, okay? So, uh, like, if you just look at your feed, if you're a coder, thank God I'm not but I'll talk about this in a second. If you're a coder and if you open up your laptop, what do you see? <clears throat> Layoffs, AI, this and that. Like It's like 90% of, the, of your feed is negative stuff. And you keep watching that. You keep giving your energy and your attention to that type of content. And guess what? Content creators know that. Content creators actually buy courses from other YouTubers and these other YouTubers are telling these content creators to talk about negative stuff because people are attracted to negativity. And what happens is that you start clicking on this negativity, on this negative news, negative videos, and the algorithm starts feeding you more bullshit, more problems, more problems, more problems. And then you know what happens? How can you go all in if your mind is not 100% set on that goal? Because you have that break in your head that says, man, maybe it's not going to be possible. Maybe it's not going to be possible to get that job. Maybe it's going to be uh, like, I'm going to learn this and my skill is going to be worthless. No, it doesn't work like that. You need to understand that right now, if you want to learn code, you are probably in a demographic that makes, I don't know, 40, 60K a year if you're in, in US. You have no choice but to start learning something, learning a skill like coding, like sales, like marketing. You need to be prepared for the next years. What are you bringing to the table if you're a restaurant manager? Like, what are you bringing to the table? If you're an Uber driver, what are you bringing to the table? Nothing. You need to learn skills. You need to spend time, energy, money on yourself, on learning skills. And the fucking algorithm that you have been feeding with information and with statistics for the past two years, it's only going to tell you what you want to hear, which is negative bullshit. And you are addicted to it. You are addicted to negative bullshit that is not helping you at all. That's what I want you to understand. Now, I want to give you a tip because I look at you. I don't care if you're a man, a woman. I don't care if you're 18, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 50. I look at you like me in 2016. I had a dream. I had, a, I had some hope. I wanted to make it. I wanted to be able to travel for a month wherever I want. Now I can do that. I'm one month in Thailand. Last year I've been two weeks in Thailand, three weeks in Bali, four weeks in Dubai, two weeks in Italy, two weeks in Greece. I, I, I lost count. I wanted to be able to live in an amazing place, an amazing apartment. I live in like one of the best uh, apartments in uh, Warsaw. Okay, I have 
two bedrooms. One is my office, one is my bedroom. You know, I have, I have an amazing view. This did not happen by chance. It happened because I've learned skills and I took risks regardless of how other people uh, uh, thought about what I was, uh, what I wanted to do. I didn't care. Like if someone doesn't make what I want to make, I'm not going to listen to that person. My mother told me to not learn programming. I should become a fucking lawyer. Do I want to become like my mom? She's an amazing person. She's hardworking, but no, fuck no, I don't want that. I don't want to be surrounded by papers and folders and shit. I don't want to do that. I want to be able to travel freely and be wherever I want, whenever I want. And sure, maybe as a developer, when you'll become a developer, you won't be able to do what I'm doing, right? Because you do not have all the skills that I have. But becoming a developer, it's a stepping stone towards the next thing. You are not forced to be a developer for the rest of your life. Never, ever, ever box yourself in a situation where I'm going to learn this and I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. No. We are living in a new environment, an environment that always changes. You have to be flexible. You have to be that person that can learn new things, can adapt can find new opportunities. You have to look for new opportunities every single time. And I have a challenge for you. Okay, an, an, an amazing challenge. I, I literally just thought about this today and I really wanted to make this video because I really want to help you, okay? So here's what I want you to do. <laughs> I wanted to be a bit cheeky and say, click on the first link in the description and apply for the mentorship. Uh, but I already said it, but don't do that, but do it, whatever. But the second thing that I want you to do is to make a new Gmail account, okay? Make a new Gmail account and then make a new YouTube channel uh, or a YouTube account with that Gmail and start the algorithm fresh. And just spend one day without searching anything related to coding. Just spend one day. And then you'll realize that the world is actually fine. The world is not burning. AI is not destroying anything. Maybe not yet. But there is an entire world out there that you cannot see because you're being fed a lot of fucking negativity. And I feel bad for you. I used to be so depressed when I was uh, watching all these fuckers that were poisoning my brain. I spent three days saying not interested, not interested. And YouTube kept, give, kept giving me videos related to like how fucked up shit is. And today I got a message from uh, one of my students. He got hired. Two weeks, three weeks ago, another guy got hired. Shit is working. But you have to work and you have to remove the fucking trash that you are feeding yourself with. I'm really being honest with you. Make a new YouTube account. And then after two days, after you realize that life is not so tough, start looking for videos and channels that are showing you how people are winning with code. Find people who are making money from selling SaaS, from web design. It doesn't matter. Find fucking winners and surround yourself with people who are winning instead of surrounding yourself with fucking losers. Because you are the average of the people you are surrounding yourself with. And if you surround yourself only with fucking losers, what do you think you'll become? <laughs> A loser. So realize, wake up right now. I want you to wake up right now. And I want you to realize what have you done. Create this new YouTube channel. Subscribe to my channel and then get to work. Code, write code every day. Solve problems for yourself, for others. Do something fucking useful for once and stop complaining. That will be a good fucking start, isn't it? Anyway, I wish you a happy new year. I know I haven't made the how to kill it in 2025 video. 
You know what you do. You know what you have to do. <laughs> you have to fucking write some fucking code, solve problems, and stop being a fucking bitch. That's what you have to do. Anyway, signing off from Thailand. Peace out.